Warning, the following rant video may contain strong and offensive language, which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewers discretion is advised. Hi everyone, Generated Narukami here. And today, I will do rant on the worst game on Nintendo 64 and the entire planet, Superman 64. And before I begin this rant, to anyone who still likes this game, you know the drill. Anyways, enjoy this rant. Superman 64 is got to be one of the worst games in the entire planet next to Action 52. I am going to explain why this game sucks in my opinion. First of all, this game is a prime example of executive meddling. Titus originally envisioned the game to be open world and even made a lot of destructible levels. However, Warner Brothers was paranoid about Titus taking on the project and told them exactly what watching the game through a microscope. There is also the reason why the game takes in a virtual world by not allowing Superman to fight real people, and having to pick up icons to use his powers. They had also no creative freedom and them being so busy trying to please Warner Brothers is the reason for many problems with the game. Second, the most hated thing in all of this game is that most of its levels rely on flying through rings to get end of the level. Which not only makes no sense, but also extremely annoying due to the controls being an absolute disaster. Most of the time, you will fail to pass through a ring and increases the chance of failing the level for each missing ring. Some ring levels even have the nuts to make you start right next to the end of the ring, which is definitely unfair. And it's also the overall reason why the ring concept is just awful just like ripping off rings from Sonic the Hedgehog franchise and putting it on the game, and it is also reason why the ring concept is just awful that should never been on this game in the first place in my opinion. Third, players themselves have to repeat the previous ring flying segment upon failing the objectives that comes immediately after, which is likely to happen due to the unforgiving and most hated time limit in virtually every level and the fact that mission objectives only stay on screen for about a second, which gives the player no time to adapt. This stops occurring after certain amount of tries. Which resulting player actually start at the mission instead of having to solve the maze again. Fourth, the controls are very unresponsive, making the ring stages extremely difficult to complete the mission. Because of the many ring stages, this made the game extremely frustrating, which becomes worse as some rings are moving, which it results Superman goes off course too easily. Fifth, the practice mode is also flying through the rings, except without the time limit. Making this game completely pointless. Sixth, the game have very short draw distance due to hardware limitations. The game claims that kryptonite fog covers the world except it doesn't excuse the indoor levels by having the same short draw distance as well. But in reality, is just that the game has abysmal programming and an extremely weak engine. Sixth, the collision detection is so bad that it makes the game basically a cousin of big rigs, over the road racing, but much worse. As Superman can get stuck on buildings and he can easily become out of bounds in the indoor levels. Also, the game actually glitches up, allowing Superman to pass through solid walls. Seventh, the frame rate performance is a absolute disaster, as the game's performance slows down or accelerates all the time, especially in the already hated ring stages, which it shows how poor the coding of this game is, and most of the time, the game itself cannot even reach 25 frame per seconds. Eighth, the graphics are unbearably awful that looks only little better than in Bubsy 3D. It's worth mentioning that the game came out in 1999, which everything in this game has no detail whatsoever, the models looks like awful action figures and move like those too. The color palettes are dull and ugly to look at, and the game looks like it's completely made of cardboard because of the ugly polygonal graphics. Ninth, half of the levels in the game have the player to solve Lex Luthor's maze, which in reality, it consists of flying through rings, protecting civilians, defeating enemies and picking up cars. Tenth, the enemies besides bosses in this game are random black figures or lame robots, with some of them shooting projectiles that can destroy Superman easily. 
11th, the game have horrible and repetitive sound effects, mainly in the puzzle sections when fighting enemies. For example, Lex's laughing sound is extremely awkward and sounds like it wasn't even done by an actual human. And also, the gun sounds that you can hear when you are near to the end of ring in the ring levels, which is very annoying. 12th, the game's soundtrack is incredibly generic and not even the default Superman theme. It is just so bland and repetitive that you forget it's there 90% of this theme all the time. 13. The ending in this game is even worse than your winner endings from certain NES games, with Lex Luthor literally mocking the player and cutting to black. 14. The game's credits don't list any testers, proving or suggesting that the game wasn't even play tested when rushing out for release in unfinished state. In fact, the game doesn't list any lead designers at all. And 15, the game has originally came bundled with comic book intended to explain the plot, but in reality, the comic itself is just bad, it had a story that makes no sense whatsoever, villains that didn't exist in this game like Jaxor or Bizarro, and in some points, it contradicts itself more specifically with the creation of the dimension of the Dark Shadows. Thank God that I will never play it and I never will, or else it would waste my time just the game did to everyone's time. Anyways, I don't know who likes or hates this game, so I am going to leave a B. But anyways, Superman 64 sucks. And so does Action 52. Super Mario 64 is so many times better than Superman 64. End of rant, my next rant is on clickbait videos. After clickbait videos rant, Louie Louie 95. After Louie Louie 95 rant, Mr. Papa, also known as Joba. And after Mr. Papa rant, Barney and friends. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. And this is me, signing off.